Hey everybody, I'm along this uh, mountain road right here and across the uh, river valley over here I spotted about uh, a week ago a what appeared to be the roof of an abandoned structure. I don't know if I have any idea how to get there. The uh, canyon is literally just a, a precipitous, I mean you can't quite gauge that, but if I was to take a step right off of there that would be probably the end. Go through a couple spider webs <laughs> and then off the cliff and it's been like this. I've been I've got a good half kilometer since the spot in the road where I thought I saw it. And I've seen two additional signs or traces of, of, of evidence. One was an abandoned farm structure I saw and then this, look at this. This appears to be an old water system blocked off here. The pipe there. And I'm pretty sure that that's pipe running water or it used to run water across the river. See across there? all the way to the other side. I think there's a farm over there and a house and all the like. I saw the I saw the roof further down. I, I just have to find a way to get across. I have no there's no way down. No way at all. So wish me luck. Uh, you can continue to follow along on this adventure if you like. See what we can find. I'm I'm doing something I usually never do. I'm wearing pants. <laughs> Not pantsu but pants pants. Um, the horse flies are just terrible this time of year and I also have my horse fly catching a new, my new horse fly catching net. These things are great. It's actually a fishing type of a net and you catch them really works well. If you wonder what that says, that's the Soba sign up there. The village up the way and the Soba restaurant up there. Okay, wish me luck. You too. <laughs> All of us. All right, I think I see where that white pipe went, although uh, it's not where I thought it went. Can you see in this uh, green over here? Can you see down over here? Can you see? I wonder if I can find it. There it is. Is that it? No, that's a tree. <laughs> where is it? Where is it? Come on, Kurt. Sure, everybody. Where is the pipe? You've probably seen it, but I can't because I'm using the, ah, you know, I'm using the little tiny viewfinder on my camera here. Let's go mobile. <laughs> you can see. There it is. Very clearly now. There it is. See it going across the river there? A little further along. And then there's a farm over there, an abandoned farm. You can see just over there. See a bit of an old farm structure peeking up. There's no window. There's windows. Pretty strange for a farm structure to have windows. Bannon Farm, I'm sure that's the tea farm right over there. Still have the same problem. It's getting not as steep as it was before, but still, you, know, you can't go down there. You fall off a cliff at the bottom. Still going to try to find my way around and down. But it's, uh, it's tough going. Keep looking. Okay, I think I found a place where we can get uh, down to the river. So the forest is stuck into the forest here. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Asia. Still steep. Just like before. Watch out for. Uh, there's a nebachi in here. Whoa. Gotta get that tripod in here in order. There we go. Not break that thing. There's a car. I mean, it seems. Check it in. Oh, get my nuts. Oops, better way. Dummy. 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 Be careful. Hung up in that tree. It's completely stuck there for a second. If I had disturbed the nest, I would have been unable to move. <laughs> Watch for the big trees. my close encounter with the two hornet nests last year at the same time. So it me on edge so much. There's a hornet right there. Not a, there's a hornet box either. There's one on the tree. Okay, I see uh, what appears to be infrastructure down there. Yeah. yeah. Bottom end of a farm. Hey, a trail. Check this out. Look at this. This is an abandoned farm tree. We're not on it yet. Yeah, this might show up so easily from a wider vision. <coughs> See, we're on it now. There's a faint outline of a, of a trail. This must have been the access down to the farm at one point. The farm, uh, I thought it was a farm. It is a farm structure. Metal apparatus. Let's go down here and take a look.
Well, we did. No, no. Hungry of Yagua. Pick my. There you go. <clears throat> I'm going to lay my stuff here inside. So here we are. So, this is the bottom end of what was once a farm. Probably the, serving the farm across the river. See how they had the uh, foundation in here? You see all this structure, see the wires? It's given up, it's all collapsed down in over the edge there. And here are more wires. Here's Probably the platform, the foundation where it was, and somebody had a big bottle of sake. I find that a lot up here. It's, it's wires. So, this is probably the bottom end. The trail served, the farmers would come down, hook up an apparatus right here where we're standing, and then run the line across the river. It's, it's, a, it's a real gorge here, you can see. Pretty river. And right across, across the way, there's a farm right over there. Probably the farm that we saw earlier. I'll try to go down, make it down to the river over here, and uh, see if we can make our way over there. Careful. First I gotta get a big rock out of my shoes. Okay, here we go. Alright, so you made it down this uh, waterfall here. Be careful step. There you go. And we're out under the uh, river, river flats. What a lovely place. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, let me put my tripod up here for a second just to stand here by itself for a second. Stay here, tripod. Yeah. So, rough stand. Mm. Wow, isn't that pretty? Really nice. So the farm that we're after is up there. You can see some uh, wire coming across. Floods must have wrapped the wire around. That's what we just came down. You can see that there are a stone wall right there. There's more stone wall further up that I saw. Wires over here. Wow, a little tang tangle of wires, huh? Look at that. Hmm. Wet wall of rock. Drip, drip. This is an area where I've never been. I've only uh, driven through this area. Squishy. Oh, that's not squishy. Squish, squish. squish. Mush, mush. Hmm. Let's cross the river and uh, go across over there. Let's do it. Nearly always when I come to the river areas, I. Uh, wind up uh, getting my boots wet, but I try to postpone that as any long as possible. It's a lot nicer when it's not squishy, so I'll just take them off and walk across. Probably have to do this a couple of times. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, that would feel good. Okay, wash the blood off that leech bite is bleeding. Good. It might bleed for hours. Okay, across the river, and I just stopped at this wall of wet to admire it for a bit. I love places like this. And I saw up here, this is where the farm is on the other side. I just came across from over there, of course. Look at this, look at how the uh, wood, all the wood bits from the uh, old farm structure are hanging. It's 
kind of eerie. It's like a gallow scene in a way. You know, it's uh, hung up there like that. Cord going up through a line, runs across. And there's more going down to another one, hung up. Doesn't that kind of look kind of creepy? And the wire going down. That's where we're headed. First, I'm going to stop and uh, clean my boots off the beaches. Uh, it finally dawned on me what this is, this structure up here. You see the bits right here? It was, it was a bridge. I've been spending almost an hour just sitting here enjoying this little beach here, looking up and around, and I realize now that on the other side there, right there, right where, right, right where, right there, that was the one end of the bridge, and it was a footbridge. It went right across the river. You can see all the uh, mess of the uh, mechanism over there, and likewise over here. It's all completely fallen away. You can see very clearly some of the pieces. You know, there's the wood and the uh, metal that held it all together. This was a footbridge. Love it. And I love the holes here that the dripping water are uh, drilling into the mud here. And look at this rock. Isn't this great? On this big, oh, I think this is, you know, well, you know, volcanic rock, but why is this round stone embedded in, in there? Isn't that amazing? It's finally being weathered away. Nothing else like it around here. The quartz. And then up here, a bit more of the old uh, footbridge. That was a footbridge. So someone invested a lot of effort to make a footbridge all the way across. It'll be interesting to see what we're going to find up there now, huh? Let's try to make our way up. Okay, I think I see how we can get up. Here we go. Well, I have no free hand. Maybe a little more difficult. A little more steeper than I. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh. So, no free hands to catch myself. I my fall. A little bit of a trail right there. You know what? Maybe I should. Mm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave the tripod and gear down here. Leave the tripod stuff down here. There we go. There we go. Just stay here. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. I need my free hand. There we go. Yeah, I'm talking to inanimate objects. Yeah, they never argue. <laughs> Careful, hornets, dude. Yeah, there's a bit of a, a cliff right there. We'll go right up here. Yeah. Safe. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this tree is falling in. You wear a hornet, dude. Whoa. See? That's the kind of place I say it a lot and I never come through. That's a good thing. But I have to keep. We might. I need a third hand here. It's really steep. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It really is climbing a cliff here. Let me get over there. And clamber. Come on, dude. I think I got it now. Made it. A little clamber here. I'm sorry for my slow movement. Gotta be whoop, very careful. It's really steep. Okay. We're at the other end of the 
bridge now. This is where the footbridge would have come. Oh, Spiderweb, sorry. Stone here must have been part of the foundation. Sorry, spiders. Wood right here. And you can see there's the other side, although quite lost in the uh, greenery. You can see the cables down over there, huh? Okay. You can see some metal over here. See the metal coming down and the iron pieces? This one where the bridge was over here. Put the camera over the edge. Not me over the edge. I don't like playing over the edge of anything. Woohoo! That's on drop. River. Okay. Let's go up here. There must be a farm up here. And you can really see now how there really is the bit of a trail. Let's follow this little trail here, huh? And old uh, markers. And I forgot my bear bell completely. I left it home. Let's have to talk about, hey, bears! Any bears up here? I'm here to have too. I, I'm not here to steal any honey, and I have no picnic baskets. Whoa! That's a steep drop off right there. I don't like that. No wonder there was a railing and slippery. Whoa! No, thank you. I'm not liking that. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, easy, Kurt. Slowly. I mean, the worst of it right now. Whoa. Here's that building we saw. Carpenter ant. You're big. Okay, any leeches on me? Just a quick leech check. Hey, hey! Check! No one's been here for a while, although it appears that some parties were going on here. Let's see, fire pit. I love having the zoom. We can take a close look at stuff before we actually get there. Let's do a uh, hornet check under the rafters. Man. Old ladder, look at that old ladder. Okay, here we go, big stone right here. Hornet nest. There we go, right there. That's what you gotta watch out for in these places. This one looks like it's last year's nest though. You know, that hole the hornets will stream out. It's probably the Asian giant too. Definitely gotta be careful. If you ever poke your head around old structures here in the in Japan, in the mountains, that's what you're looking for. To stay away from. I think I'm safe though. I think I think there's a hole in the side of it. But if that was uh, an active nest and I just blundered right in here, I could have some serious trouble. And the others, where well, there's one, there could be more. Man, hornet nest. Big maw, two big maws right okay, there, see that? Really big. Big maw. It's a nest, pretty sure it's empty. You ready to run if not? There you go. Asian giant hornet. Look at the size of that hole. Compare that to my, put my hand up there. You see how big that hole is? That's where the hornets come streaming in and out of. Bad. You don't want to mess up those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flashlight. Okay, let's look around the rest of the fire pit here. 
Just wood, a broom, little farm tools, a hoe, various implements. I am absolutely 100% convinced that this farm is abandoned. <clears throat> Not ant lion nest, insect nest. Lord of the ant lion. Still got my eye on that. Let's take a look at these, some of these tools. There's a hole of some sort, I guess. Pretty dull. Put it back on it. There's an airplane overhead. Whoop, whoop, what the hell? There was a big, when I started doing that, a big flying insect that buzzed loudly was disturbed from the rafters. I don't know what it was, but it got my goat. Okay, I'm going to put these back because you've never seen these, these tools are, even though I'm absolutely 100% convinced that this, this farm has given up. I'm going to put it back where I found it. Try not to drop it. Look at that. Soot in the fire must be. What was that insect? Right over there. Put this back. Oh, but I've got to look at this one. This is interesting. This, this is something... Uh, this is like a cutting tool. Shh, shh, shh. Beautiful. Wow. You know... And, Antiques, cool stuff. This back, you know. Yeah, yeah. Whatever was flying around came flying around from right over there. Let's just put our head underneath the hornet nest and take a look. There were the rafters kind of falling apart, rotten in there. Really rotten all back there. Oh, something. Oh, there's, there's. What the hell? There's a hornet in there. Holy crud! It landed on my head. There's, 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 there's another one. There it is. There it is. Do you guys see it? It's not a, it's not the giant. It's definitely, there's definitely hornets in here though. And then, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, there are definitely hornets in there. It's not the Asian giant hornet. It's a, it's another big one. It's, it's not, maybe, it's bigger than Ashinaga. It's not as big as the yellow hornet. I see them flying around inside now. I disturbed them. Here it comes. It just flew out. So, I don't know where they're living. But it landed when I was checking out that one thing. It landed right on my head up here. <laughs> Didn't get stung though. Okay. I think I can, you can kind of see them flying around. Let's see if we can zoom in closer. You can see it against that window. You might, let's see if we hold on for a second. Here it comes, that's a butterfly. Okay, leave these guys alone. Very interesting though. Oh, I'm not gonna do with his hand. Meh, wipe it on my boots. <clears throat> hey, whoa, 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 look at that. It's bigger than I thought. Look, that's just like the shed part. There's more. Back there. Like more of a house part. See the windows? Remember we saw the windows from the road? Well, okay, we gotta find out what it is, huh? Okay, here we go. We're going back. What happened to my rag? It's just, oh, I left it in there. Who cares? Okay, let's just uh, go around. I don't want to go around. This is tea. This is green tea. This is a green tea farm. What is this? Mm. Let's go around back. I don't know why I always end up going. But that's where the whatever was originally flying around in there was back here. Let's poke our head and see if we can see it. I really have to see what it was. Is there a nest in here? Look at this ladder. Isn't that cool? Okay. Ooh, it's kind of falling in over here. 
roof of Ooh, the hornets might be living under the awning there. What is this part over here? That's some tough going through here too. Josh. Oh, oh, you just stripping that roof, dude? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, now that's a that's dangerous right there. See this uh, dead tree right there? That's that's the kind of place hornets might live. Ooh, I just saw him flying around in there again through the hole. Looking right through this hole right here. And this woo. What is that? Something flying around. <laughs> I got the willies. Okay. Be careful, dude. It's all boarded up. The windows are all sealed up there. You know, this is the kind of thing I wouldn't mind doing this in the winter. Pushing through this uh, green stuff right here. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind doing that in the winter time. But in the summer, when I can't have easy access to run, if I upset a nest of hornets, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go around the front instead. Where it's equally <laughs> messed up. I'm sorry, because you're like, come on, Kurt, get on with it. I just, this is, this is fascinating to me. But look at all this. Really a lot of spiders in here. I don't know. What is this part here? What's this? Did you hear that? Look at that. Okay. Okay, look under the eaves. This is all green tea. There's an abandoned tea farm in here. This is what happens. It's not as overgrown as I would have thought. Look at the, the old lock on the window there. And I'm passing gas. Nothing dangerous. Wasps are solitary. They can sting you and they can be very painful, but they're not going to do the group attack thing. It was definitely choking me out. I'm not worried about wasps. This is a, a, a case insect. There's actually an insect inside that. If I touch that, it'll move a little bit. Oh, it's still alive. It kind of got it affixed to the side there. Case insect. Can it move? Mm -hmm. oh, it's like a lot of inside. Okay, here we go. Let's try. Knock, knock. Hello. Good meet you all. People are going to get upset at me for doing this, but... I'm not going to take anything. I just want to see it. Before this is going to be... Before long, this is just going to be a pile of... Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, sorry. Excuse the language. There was definitely a hornet. I don't want to go this way. Yeah, I do want to go this way. Okay. Crap. I'm stuck. 
<laughs> uh, this is an abandoned tea farm in here. I'm not going in there for nothing. Two months ago, no problem. I would have barreled right on through there. See what's over there. Now there was, that got me. I'm afraid we're not going to find out what's in there unless I try that window. Um, I was standing there and a uh, hornet definitely came over and checked me out. Buzzed right around me. Wasn't the giant, but... Oh, there it is. There's the kid. That... We're out of here. Let's go. That's it. <laughs> no, the thing is, the thing is I don't like about this place is that I'm stuck here. You know, there's no easy way out. You know, except down that cliff. And a few of them, but that was the second one. Just as I was standing there, another hornet came bit buzzing by. I'll come back here maybe in the winter and uh, when it's not so dangerous. But, you know, we see, definitely see a nest there. We definitely uh, have activity. There's definitely hornets living in there. Not the giant, but uh, could be the uh, yellow hornet, which is only a little bit smaller. In any case, enough of this one. I'm gonna go back down, find my way safely back down to the river and go uh, spend the rest of the day looking for insects to film safely. That got me. Okay, thanks for joining me, everybody. Be safe, have a good day. Remember, if you're going to, uh, if you're going to trespass a little bit, uh, you know, on the, uh, the old memories of others, you know, do it so with uh, some respect and some caution and uh, a little bit of care about uh, the uh, creatures that might live there and uh, may uh, be uncertain about what you're, uh, what you're up to. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.